Bij mij de mannen van Linkin Park, toch wel een van de main acts vandaag op die eerste dag. Rock werkt er Phoenix en Chester. Hi guys, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fine, I'm talking to you guys, couldn't be any better. Um, you're here at Rock Werchter the first day. I was just walking around on the festival ground asking people what band they were looking forward to the most. And about like 92.7% said Linkin Park. I'm, I'm not kidding you. And, and that's like that's a great thing with bands like Queens of the Stone Age and stuff on the lineup. Yeah, um, that's very cool. Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I, I still think a lot of those people are really looking forward to seeing Queens of the Stone Age play. Yeah. <laughs> also, of course. <laughs> But, I mean, that's really cool, you know? Um, so we hope we go out there and, and we don't disappoint, for sure. Yes, I saw you guys was 10 years ago, 2001, when you supported Deftones at the Brielport in Danza, it was, with Taproot on the bill too. Yeah. Do you remember that show? Uh, I remember some of them. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was actually our first, uh, that was our first tour in Europe. So yeah. that, that was simultaneously amazing. For, I think for all of us, it was our first time even being in Europe. But on top of that, uh, playing with Deftones was great. But it was also February, March, and uh, we're used to the sun, so we had a tough time with that. We're crammed in one tiny little space, and by the end of it, we were uh, very, very jaundiced, so to speak, <laughs> and ready to go home. All right. Well, it has gone really fast ever since then. You've become a huge band now. You just put out A Thousand Suns, a deluxe edition, with a DVD uh, with a Madrid live footage, like you guys playing in the street. I was watching it. The, the scenery is just breathtaking. That must have been one of the most beautiful places you've ever played. Yeah, the, it was at the Puerta de Alcala in, in, uh, in Madrid. And I think when we showed up, we knew it was going to be a cool spot, but I don't think we had any idea how great it could turn out to be. You know, so that was, it was right after we had done the MTV thing uh, in the U.S. at the Griffith Observatory, which came out looking like really cool and different. And it was a fun experience. Then we went into that and did that, which was like kind of one step bigger and a bigger crowd and like a, famous like old place and then from there we've just done the Kremlin in Moscow we just played that like uh, last week so it's seeming to be we're, we're playing like these national points of interest as backdrops where that's that's the current mode of our shows yeah. next stop is the moon we're gonna go to the that's moon and play there yeah I read an interview with Rick Rubin saying you're working on a new record already and he was saying it was going faster than the last two he did with you do you have the same feeling and, and why is that yeah I think the goal uh, right now with where we're at with our touring and with the record process is while we're out touring not to really burn ourselves out and to, and to be able to keep a creative momentum that we have coming off the last record and so anytime we have breaks in our touring schedule right now we've been in the studio while we're at home and uh, as soon as we finish the cycle in the end of September we're just transitioning immediately back into kind of writing and recording with the hopes of not having such a gap between records and being able to continue with what we feel like is a good groove right now. Let's just say the new Linkin Park record is going to be coming out and we're going to be able to enjoy a great show later on. So have fun, guys, and thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Just cause I know I can't